What's up everybody? We're back here on Grenada Lake. Bluebird day, somewhat midday, and uh, we're about to put some big fish in the boat. It's already been a great bite, so thanks for joining me again. Please subscribe, do me a favor there. Uh, we're gonna have a run through of all the products and put some big fish on in the boat. We are targeting a three pound crappie today. As this sun rises, these fish are gonna really start sunbathing and staging themselves on this this timber so you can have a look here i'm east of Graysport right now what a day already we're just getting started and we're going to work our way across that lake right there staying in roughly around five foot of water and uh always positioning my my hog fishing net right there and we're gonna we're gonna work our way we're gonna work our way across this water now the sun's up here in Mississippi, so I am wearing one of these new uh, bass cats, so don't be surprised if you see a, a hoodie on me. This thing's going to come up, and I'm going to try my best to protect myself this year. You do this much fishing, you got to worry about sun protection, big deal. I always spray the top of my hands. Top of the hands, ears, always get sprayed. But you might start seeing some of these hoodies and stuff like that. Mm -mm. No hesitation on that one. So I'm trying out, that is a freaking hammer right there, we're going to keep that one. I'm trying out a new jig head style. And actually, it's a barrel head, jig head. And the one I'm fishing with right now is actually a one-fourth, a quarter. Trying to get away from, I don't think that's anything new, but um, trying to get away from the need for a split shot, especially when you are fishing shallow. I can tell you that I've caught about three fish already and it seems to be working. Here comes another one, small one though, very small one. I do want to keep giving updates on the new rods. Uh, everything's a go. Everything's working for a uh, April. We will have the 10 footer available. The best 10 footer on the market. Um, no doubt. That's all I do is 10 footers and 13 footers. There is going to be a, a 16 footer as well. That's a little information. I don't want to give any more out, but uh, there will be a pre sale when I know they've hit the door. Excited to share that with you guys. All the tackle, sniping braid, you name it, is all available at 3 poundfishingcom One stop shot, even the hog nets you can buy at 3 Pound Fishing. So I highly recommend the hog nets, the six foot for a single guy like myself in the boat. That is absolutely perfect. So right now all we're doing is we're looking around for, for crappie, kind of staying right on the edge of the creek channel. coaxing right on the freaking lips. That is a freaking hammer right there. Gosh dang, that is a nasty hook, man. That is quite possibly the meanest hook I've ever I've ever fished with. Here he goes. There it is. There's the move. See it? There it is. Uh -oh. 
See how they do that nose move up, man. It's crazy. Here it comes. Look at that fish. Beautiful fish. Letting them go, letting them grow. They're just running through here like crazy. Look at that guy just, just gotta be able to stop one. And a lot of times throwing down your jig is what does, it stops it. Get even close, it all of a sudden will pause. Who knows? A lot of people ask, you know, how do you distinguish a crappie from anything else? Typically a crappie is, um, I won't say it's a lazy fish, but it's not going to be up and down in the water column until you spook it. When you spook it, of course, it's going to move down and then it's going to come back up. But when you're approaching a crappie, they don't tend to stay out of, they, they tend to stay in their water column wherever they're at. Nasty hooks. Where I hurt that fish. Right there. Ooh, that's a good fish. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. What a day on Grenada. It doesn't get any better, and they are all going back. That's how we roll. I even got one back here. It doesn't, hasn't gone on the, gone the water yet. <laughs> Folks, have a great one. It was a fantastic day on Grenada. <laughs>